Hey, hey, hey there, my friend. So great to have you here and welcome to Connie Matthews TV. Today, we're actually gonna be talking about unblocking the benefits of entrepreneurship in retirement. Have you actually ever thought about starting your own business or online business? Or maybe you're thinking about retiring to something. So today, we're going to be talking about how to retire to something, become the entrepreneur you've always wanted to be, stay engaged, and maintain the lifestyle that you have become accustomed to without worrying about money. Now, my name is Connie Matthews, and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers build the right framework and business that can give them back 99% of their day. What would you do with that? Imagine. Now, I have to tell you, this topic is quite dear to my heart. Why? I've actually retired three times, and obviously I didn't do a very good job at it. The first three months, the first time I retired, I slept for about three months, and then after three months from that, which is six months down the track, I was totally bored out of my brain wanting to do something. Hence why this topic is completely dear to my heart, and it's a great idea to retire to something. You don't want something that's totally full-time, but you do want something to keep you active and know that there's an income that's going to be coming in. So today we're going to cover off identifying your goals, developing a plan that supports your goals, establishing your business and building your brand, connecting with like-minded people. And the last one, finding resources that can help you along your journey. And this is why you're here. Each week, I bring a new training with a free resource for you that you can download and make your own. So you can head over to ConnieMatthews.com.au and what you'll find is a whole number of blogs there and each single one has a free resource for you. But today's free on resource. top of which you can also click the subscribe button so that you're notified every single time I bring out a new session on Connie Matthews TV. So don't forget to click that button so that you're notified. Now, what would be the number one thing that I would consider starting a business of any description? I would consider my goals and my priorities. Do I actually have a passion that I really want to actually get out to the world? Or do I, do I want a bricks and mortar business? Or do I want an online business? And I would be doing the pros and cons on both. Now, the thing with the bricks and mortar business is there's a high investment involved in that. And also too, there are a lot of fixed costs as well. So you wanna be making an income or a profit from that business almost straight away. You're also going to have high mindset involvement because you're gonna to need to make that work. Now on the online side, you can actually have a business at very low cost entry, very low risk financial, but at the same time, most people, when they get involved on that side, they also have low mindset. It's like, oh, well, it can or it can't work. What we want to do is we really want to make that work. And I'm going to send you to one of my other blogs, which is ConnieMatthews.com.au forward slash 005. And in there, you'll find three exercises that are really going to get that mindset working right for you. I'd also be having a look at things like resources, what's actually available to help you along your journey. Is there any training and development? And what about the financial side of things and liabilities? They're all things we need to take into consideration. Cash flow and industry trends. So let's actually have a look at a solution. Do you want to get into a bricks and mortar and have high costs? Or would you like to consider having a look at an entrepreneurial journey in the online environment? It's low cost, low risk. It's also, it's a personal development course in disguise because you learn as you go. There is training, there is development, and all the resources are available for you online these days to tap into. On top of which, the thing that you really only need to get started 
is a bond and who hasn't got Now, bond. let's talk about the second thing and that is developing a financial plan to support your new entrepreneurial venture. Now, when we look at bricks and mortar, we really need to have a very strong financial plan that we need to probably take to the bank. This is quite simple. When you look at the online side, your investment is going to be extremely small and it really depends on which business that you're actually looking at. You can really start an online business for $60 a year. Really, that's a very small investment. Hence why it's really important to keep that mindset very strong because it is a low risk, low startup point and anyone can do it at any time. Now the third thing that I would look at is how do you actually establish your business and how do you establish your personal brand? Now a couple of things happening here is you can actually use the internet to research anything and anyone at any given time. The other thing you want to find out is what it is that you would like to represent. Is it skincare? Is it hair care? Or is it all of these things? And do you want a clean label product to work with? Now, the thing that I really love to work with the most is, and it's so exciting, I love the creative side of this, is actually developing the color palette and the logo. One thing that we really do need is to have complete consistency across everything that we do because that's when you become recognizable. Now you may well be able to spot a theme here. When we are looking at an entrepreneurial retirement, online options are awesome. Low risk, low investment, develop your skills as you go and you don't need a lot of resources training and development is always if you actually take the time to go over to conniematthews.com.au forward slash 006 that's an awesome blog take the time to read that because i've highlighted a few areas that will make a big difference on building your influence and your brand number four is connecting with like-minded people for guidance and advice these days you or well, everyone has a support group inside of Facebook and it's just amazing that when you connect that you can literally ask anyone for anything and there is always someone that's going to answer. Quora is also another great place to find information and get support and advice. But Jim Rohn who is an absolute master and leader, would you believe he was a network marketer as well? He coined the phrase, you are the average of the top five people you spend most of the time with. I love Facebook groups and Facebook support groups because you are really hanging out with other entrepreneurs that have the same vision and the same goals as you. And we are all at different learning stages in this entrepreneurial journey. So there'll always be someone there that can answer a question. So always get involved in any support groups that are available with whatever niche you decide to take on. There's also a few other things that I do to stay plugged in. I've got three or four people that I follow on podcasts. There are so many leaders out there that are giving away lots and lots of content. So plug into one of those. There's also a lot of books that you can take on board as well. It's a plethora of books out there and I've got quite a few. And I want to just bring you into why these will work. Back in 1999, I bought back then, um, would you believe they were tapes? and it was called Awaken the Giant Within, and it was Tony Robbins. I was so, so, so bad at sales at the time that I figured I needed to plug into something somewhere, and I bought his tapes, and I followed his teachings for an entire year, and I went from zero to hero in that 12 months, and if he only knew, I became number one in the country for sales, and that was just by plugging into, at the time, tapes. They really work a treat. Last but not least is 
finding resources that actually will help you along your entrepreneurial journey to success. Now, I think I've probably covered a lot already because you can get so much information from the internet. You can actually follow leaders, listen to podcasts, read books, and of course, at ConnieMatthews.com.au, every week I actually offer a free training session and a downloadable that goes with it. This week, I think that one of the greatest things that you can actually have to start off in any business journey is understanding who your target audience or ideal customer is. Super duper important and the reason for that is when you know who your target audience is, where they're hanging out, you'll be able to identify which platforms you need to be working on and how to actually scale your message to your audience. Now, we started today's training with the title of Unblocking the Benefits of Entrepreneurship in Retirement. And the question of the week is, can I really make some money out of network marketing? I'm going to encourage you, as I have been all through today's training, hop onto the internet and check it out yourself. You have no idea how many successes there are out there. So if you're actually just wanting to do an extra $400 a month or $1,000 a month, that potential is absolutely there. And when we actually have a look at this to the bricks and mortar business, to the online business, bricks and mortar will take a long time to break even. Your online business can actually break even in the first month. Touch with you so you can stay connected with me through LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and of course, you can always email me. I will always answer your questions, but for now, this is Connie Matthews signing out and have one awesome day.